Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a plushie pattern and I hope you all like it. This is a lamb ball from the newly popular game Pow World. I haven't played the game yet, but when I saw this little guy, I had to see if I could make him. I think whether or not you play the game, this is just a cute thing to make. If you have any other ideas for plushies or anything else, please let me know in the comments. And with that all said, let's just jump right into it. For this pattern, you will need super chunky weight white yarn. I'm using Brene Blanket, medium weight brown yarn. You will also need crochet thread in yellow, as well as roving wool in the colors black, white, pink, yellow, and light yellow. You will need a four millimeter hook and a 2.75 millimeter hook, a needle felting needle, a sewing needle, scissors, and stuffing. So beginning with the face, we're going to start with a four millimeter hook and brown yarn and we're going to start with a magic circle. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video right here that can help you out. You're then going to chain one and then you're going to put six single crochets into the circle. Pull our circle closed. And then for the next row, we're going to put an increase into each stitch around. This will give us 12 stitches. For the third row, we are going to put a single crochet into the first stitch and then an increase into the second. We're going to repeat this all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. For the fourth row, we are going to put a single crochet into the first two stitches and then an increase into the third. We're going to repeat this all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. We are now going to transition to our white yarn, so on our last single crochet, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, leaving two loops on our hook, and then we're going to grab our white yarn, and then we're going to pull it through those two loops. We're now going to begin our first row with the white, so we're going to begin with our first stitch being a bobble stitch. So to do that, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, and pull through. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through two. And then you're going to yarn over your hook, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to yarn over again, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. You should end up with four loops on your hook now, so you're going to yarn over and pull through those four remaining loops. You finish off a bobble by chaining one. And there's your first bobble stitch. So then in the very next stitch, we're just going to put a single crochet. And basically you're just going to be repeating these two stitches all the way around. So to redo the bobble stitch, because I figure it's a little confusing, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert through our stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert through our stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through four, and then chain one. <laughs> it's a lot, but it's not hard. <laughs> and then in the very next stitch, you're going to make your single crochet. So you're going to do this all the way around, and because we have 24 stitches, you should end up with 12 bobbles and 12 single crochets in total. And I'll meet you back when that's done. Alright, so here's how your piece should look after the first row, and we're now going to start our second row. To do that, we're just going to put a single crochet in each stitch around, and you should of course end up with only 24 stitches. Okay, so we're going to begin row three, and this is going to be another bobble stitch row. We will always start these rows with a bobble stitch and end with a single crochet. And remember to only have 12 bobbles and 12 single crochets by the end of it. Okay, so I just finished my third row, which is my second bobble row. And I'm about to begin my next single crochet row. But this time I'm going to be decreasing from 24 stitches to 18. So to do that, I'm going to put a single crochet into the first two stitches. Then I'm going to make a single crochet decrease using the next two stitches. 
just like this and then I'm just going to keep repeating that so I'm going to make another two single crochets and then another decrease so again this will bring you down to 18 stitches and I will meet you back when we're done now for our next bobble row, we are just going to be doing things like we have been, except because we decreased, you will now have 9 bobbles and 9 single crochets. So you're going to begin with a bobble stitch, and then do a single crochet into the next stitch, and you're just going to repeat this all the way around. For row 6, we're going to be doing another single crochet row, and we're going to do another decrease. So to do that, we are going to make a single crochet into the first stitch. And then you're going to make a decrease. And you're going to repeat the sequence all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. I'm now going to take some time to stuff my little plushie before I start closing it up even further. Okay, so I got done filling up my plushie as much as I could. I also want to point out that I stuffed this front bobble here to kind of act as that little cute swoopy that the character has. And now I'm going to move on to my seventh row, which is another bobble stitch row. Because we're down to 12 stitches, you should end up with six bobbles and six single crochets. And I'll meet you back when you're done with that row. All right, I stuffed my plushie a little bit more and we're about to begin our last row. So to do that, it's another single crochet row. And we're just going to make a decrease into each stitch around reducing our stitches from 12 to 6. To finish off, I'm going to go into the next stitch and make a slip stitch. I'm then going to cut off a long tail for sewing and just pull all the way through. I also took a bit of time to kind of shape my plushie a little bit, squeezing it between my hands just to make sure it's nice and round. Now I'm just going to go ahead and thread up my yarn needle and I'm just going to finish sewing up the back. So the best way to do this is to insert your first stitch through the front and then come out a second stitch through the back and pull and then go to the next stitch through the front, come out another stitch through the back and pull. And now we're all closed up so I like to do one more time across the bottom. Now I'm just going to take my yarn tail and stick it out the side of my plushie and then just push it in later. To begin your arm, you're going to take your brown yarn and 4mm hook and you're going to start with a magic circle. You're going to chain one to secure it and then we're going to put three single crochets into the circle. Because three stitches is not a lot for a magic circle, the trick is to when you're pulling the short tail, don't pull it as tight as you can, at least in the beginning. This makes it a little bit easier for your hook to go into the first stitch. So you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch, and then you're going to make an increase. You're then going to put a single crochet into the remaining two stitches for a total of four. For the next row and the last row, you're going to put an increase into the first stitch, and then a single crochet into the next three stitches bringing our total stitches to five. Now you should take your short tail and pull it as tight as you can. Then we're gonna go into the very next stitch and make a slip stitch. And then we're going to cut a long tail for sewing and then we're gonna pull all the way through. Because all these features are so small, I'm actually just going to stuff all these arms and legs with the tail from the magic circle. You can use stuffing too, but they're just so small that it's just easier to use some scrap yarn. These are the arms, so be sure to make two, and you're going to want to place them on your doll like this. To make the legs, you're going to take your brown yarn and four millimeter hook, and we're going to make a magic circle. You're gonna secure it with a chain, and then we're going to put five single crochets into the circle. You're then going to pull your circle close, and in the next three rows, we're just going to put a single crochet into each stitch around. Alright, and this is what you should have. We're now going to stuff our tail into the foot, and then we're going to fold it in half, 
and we're going to single crochet two times through both sides. You're then going to fasten off with a slip stitch and cut off a tail for sewing. And of course, make two. We're now going to make the ears, so we're going to take our brown yarn and four millimeter hook and start with a magic circle. We're then going to secure it with the chain and then we're going to put three single crochets into the circle. Close it up with a short tail, but remember not to pull too tight at the beginning. For our first row, we are going to put an increase into the first stitch and then a single crochet into the remaining two stitches, bringing our total to four stitches. For the second row, we are going to do a single crochet into the first stitch and then an increase into the second. We're going to repeat this a total of two times, bringing our total to six stitches. You can now take this time to fully close up your magic circle. For this next row, we are going to put an increase into the first stitch and then a single crochet into the remaining five stitches, bringing our total to seven. For the fourth row, you're just going to put a single crochet into the first stitch and then an increase into the second. We're going to repeat this three times and then we're going to finish off with a single crochet into the remaining stitch. This will bring our total to 10 stitches. And finally, for the fifth row, we are just going to put a single crochet into each stitch around. We're now going to fasten off with a slip stitch and cut a long tail for sewing. Pull all the way through, and then we're going to finish off by stuffing our small tail into the ear. And be sure to make two of these. To begin the horns, you're going to take your 2.75 millimeter hook in like a marigold type thread color, and we're going to begin with a magic circle. Chain one to secure, and we're going to put three single crochets into the magic circle. Close up the magic circle, but remember not to do it too tight yet. And we're going to start our next row by putting an increase into the first stitch, and then a single crochet into the next two stitches, bringing our total to four stitches. For the second row, we are going to put an increase into the first stitch, and then a single crochet into the next three stitches, bringing our total to five. And for this final row, we are just going to put a single crochet into each stitch around. My camera died at this part, but you're going to want to put a slip stitch into the next stitch and then cut off a tail for sewing. Then you're going to pull it all the way through. And once again, we are just going to stuff our horn with the short tail from the magic circle. And you're going to make two of these. Before we attach our ears, we're going to add a little detail, which is the pink inside the ear. You're going to want to cut a piece of pink felt in a shape kind of like this and just attach it to the ear like this. You can hot glue it, sew it, but for me, I'm going to needle felt it. If you want a needle felt, you'll need a special needle felt needle. It's barbed, so when you go through it, it makes the felt one with the crochet. It would have been smart of me to use a foam pad to do this, but I didn't. So you just be careful not to stab yourself, but you're just going to poke it into the crochet about a million times, and eventually it'll just bind itself completely. When you're done, it looks like this. It looks wooly and like it's actually kind of like hair. So I really like this method. But whatever method you decide to do, just make sure to repeat the process on the other ear. So we're now going to start sewing on the ears. You're going to place them sideways like this and I put them directly behind the first bobble row and about three stitches apart. And I'm gonna just go ahead now and just start sewing them on. With the ears now on, it's time to sew on the hands and the feet. Um, so I placed my hands behind the first bobble row. You're going to want to place them equidistant from the feet to the ears. And the feet, I'm actually going to sew it behind two bobble rows, unlike the one I'm showing right here. I didn't think it was far back enough, so I ended up changing it. So I'm going to start sewing them together now. Now that everything's sewn on but the horns, I was just so excited to get started with the face. So I'm actually going to start needle felting the face now. If you want to follow my instructions for needle felting, it's very simple actually. But if you don't want to do that today, uh, you could just buy felt in these colors and you could just stack them by gluing or sewing them together in the same order I felt them and uh, just glue them onto the face that way. So to begin the eyes, you're going to take your base eye color, which is like a regular yellow. And we're going to start by balling it up with our fingers and just poking it into our plush. This character's eyes are very round, so you just want to keep that in mind when you're poking and making this shape. A good tip for flyaway wool strands is to just twist them in your hook like this. And it works really well with containing everything. So I'm just going to keep adding more and more yellow until I'm satisfied with the look of it and the shape of it. 
And once you're happy with the general shape of the eye, we are now going to take our white felting wool and we're going to make the highlight of the eye. The highlight goes at the very top and it's going to be a very round circle. So you're just going to start poking on top of the base of the yellow and you're just going to keep doing it until it's completely binded to the yellow underneath it. And if you need to add more, just be sure to do that. We are now going to add a light yellow highlight at the bottom of the eye and again it's going to be in a circle shape. So we're just going to take a bit of the wool and roll it between our fingers and then we're going to place it at the very bottom of the eye like this and we're just going to poke it in the shape of a little circle. The last step to the eye is to make a black outline so we're going to take some black wool and we're going to roll it in between our fingers in a line shape. We're then going to place this outline around the eye and just start connecting it. And now your first eye is done, so now I'm just going to repeat this process off camera for the other eye. Alright, so here are the finished eyes and the only thing left to do now for the felting is to make the diamonds on the chest. So you're going to take this gold color and I can't use my phone to reference while I'm filming so I just marked out where they should go. Basically the top is going to be a big diamond and the one below it's going to be a smaller diamond. I'm going to start just by making circles though. And I'm going to be adding more felt and shaping the diamond that way. And here's the end result. I've never felted on a plush yarn before so it was a little bit difficult but I think it still turned out pretty good. And now let's just move on to do the horns. Okay so I'm not going to finally finish this plush by sewing on the horns. You're going to just place them on top of the head like this and I'm just actually going to just sew this off camera. Alright guys, here is the finished product. I think he turned out so cute. <laughs> I'm not even a fan of the game, but I just had to make this. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. It's my first plush YouTube tutorial, so um, let me know in the comments below what kind of plushes you want me to make in the future. And thanks so much for watching as usual guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!